what's up everybody welcome back to my channel i hope everyone's having an amazing day today i was actually not planning on recording a video i'm actually uploading one right now um from the weekend and stuff but i'm going to make some frijoles um which is kind of easy to make but i'm still going to show you guys whatever the basics and i'm going to make also some papas con chile verde so this is kind of food that you need to know how to make because if you want to get wifed up or if you want your husband to know like to think that you know how to cook like the authentic mexican meals then this one's a perfect one to do um i love making it i love love the taste of it obviously everybody can make it different like the papas and even the beans but this is how i do it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick just a second okay so with the frijoles i already have them cooking in the back but basically i always like to make frijoles pintos a lot of people like to do peruanos i think peruanos are they just cook prettier i feel like the color just ends up being prettier but if you have patience with the pinto then they're gonna come out really good so i recommend soaking the frijoles in water so i always soak them in hot water that way they're like easier and they soften up and obviously you're gonna throw out that water because those frijoles se limpian, you know? And you're gonna fill it up. I'll show you guys. And I always put salt and don't ask me how much salt. You simply like to sal al tanteo. So I literally just like go like that and I feel like I do that every time. But um, also I throw uh, un diente de ajo in there. So a lot of people put different stuff. A lot of people put like cebolla and stuff. I only put a garlic and salt y es todo. And then with the beans, you always have, let me focus, you always have to let them um, cook at like low heat and you just have to be patient. If you want them to come out really soft and pretty, then you just have to let them cook all day. At my mom's house, we have this pretty olla de los frijoles, but I don't have one. So I just cook it in one of these. I put beans like pretty much like up to here. I put a lot of beans because I like to have them for the week. E basically I fill it up and then I put a garlic in there. Y siempre que lo tapo, I always leave it a little bit open even though it already has this little hole so the humo can come out, el vapor, but I always leave it a little bit open as well and I have it out low. So it's going to take a couple hours for it to cook, but I'm okay with that. But with the papas, I'll be back a little bit later to show you guys how I make those just because I just fed Sebastian. We just woke up. It's kind of early. I need to eat first. So this is obviously like for dinner for when George gets home. Ya están los frijoles y ya están las papas. But I need to eat something right now. So I'll see you guys later on when I'm ready to make the papas, okay? Okay, so actually before that, let me just show you guys um, how I'm going to prepare my salsa. So I like to put a total of two tomatoes, three chiles jalapeños, and just a bunch of chiles serranos. And then you can make it like this, but I swear every time I put different amounts, I just like to grab a bunch of serranos and throw them in. Just because I like it really, really spicy, but this is kind of basically what it should look like and it's gonna taste delicious so basically lo voy a llenar de agua i've already washed these and rinsed the water out but i'm gonna go ahead and fill it up that way i can boil them so aquí ya está i went ahead and filled it up with water i'm going to turn it on and this one i'm just gonna let them boil till i know que ya están um suavecitos Okay, so I boiled my tomatoes and my chiles, and this is what they look like. Obviously, when the tomato starts peeling, you can already tell that they are ready to go. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab mi licuadora. I'm going to throw a un diente de ajo in, in there, and I'm going to grab one of my tomatoes. And I'm going to completely blend these two, so the garlic completely blends first. So now I'm going to grab the rest of the things and put them in there. Like 
that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this water because I already cleaned out my stuff. I know that this water is okay to use. So I'm going to fill that up. About there. There we go. Again, la sal is al gusto, al tanteo, whatever. I just pour some in there. Like that. Okay, and then basically right now, lo que voy a hacer es voy a pelar las papas. Okay, so acabo de pelar mis papas, but now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them. That way I know that they're all cleaned up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab obviously my papas and I'm gonna slice them into little um, circles. I'll show you guys right now. So, um, yo las partí in like little circles like this, little rueditas, but obviously you can cut them in little squares, however you want to do it. So aquí ya las puse en la cacerola and I'm going to pour some salt. The way I like to do it is kind of, I just, I don't know if you guys can see, but I kind of just spread it out so they can all get some salt. Like that. And I'm just going to keep turning them obviously till they're um, all fried up so I have these frying and I my frijoles are almost done let me show you guys how they look yeah and then if they're starting to look a little bit dry you can obviously put mas agua if you like them with caldito but I'm gonna leave them longer Okay, so as you can tell, yes, están pretty much doradas. You don't want them to be like fully, fully on doradas, just a little bit. I'm going to put some aside for Sebastian right now before I put the chile. Okay, so I put some aside for Sebastian in a little plate. So now I'm going to grab my chile. Don't mind my delicious choco flan right here. Um, so this is how my salsa looks like. And we're going to go ahead and pour. <clears throat> and it's so spicy. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cook a little bit in the chile. And then we're going to go ahead and add some water. Oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, so it's been cooking in the papas, so now I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to pour it in there. And I literally filled up, like, let me show you guys, the licuadora probably like up to here water. That way all the salsa can come out as well. And it's going to look like super, super watery, but obviously it'll go down. So, let's see. And then we're going to cover it. Let me show you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cover it and then le vamos a bajar. That way it can cook in like low heat. Okay, mientras se cocinan las papas, one thing I like to do is I take out my griddle, my comal, and I put a lot of tortillas and pretty much I just let them be until se hacen tostaditas because they are my favorite to eat with the frijoles and the papas con chile verde. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys mis frijoles. Ya están. They're super soft, medium. But yeah. So those are the beans. Obviously, the first day con las papas, I'm just gonna eat them like this, como frijoles de olla. But tomorrow, or like for the next couple of days, I obviously do smash them and then I use them for different foods. Okay, so this is how I like to eat it. So I have my frijoles, my papas, it's still hot. I have some queso fresco, my cold soda, and I have my tostaditas right here. And it's time to dig in. So there you guys have it. That is my papas con chile verde and my frijoles. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my food now. But thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what other stuff you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.